Plus, from NCIS Los Angeles, Eric Christian Olsen. And the day's top Up next, from NCIS Los Angeles, Eric Christian Olsen. from the cornfields of Iowa to the crime scenes of Los Angeles, where he can now be seen playing a wise-cracking detective on the hit CBS show, NCIS Los Angeles. Take a look. Yeah, I need a do-over on today. There are no do-overs in life, Mr. Deeks. <laughs> this coming from a woman with a dozen aliases. I heard that. Ah. Order. You are now off the market. I am. Yes. I am. I uh, I met the one. Uh, she, she's. Aww. And I was watching earlier, and I think what's interesting, what you said about that is I did so much kind of gallivanting, as you call it, casual dating. Is that what you said it was? Oh, did I? I don't remember. You said casual dating. <laughs> Scallywagging. Scallywagging, <laughs> as, as it were, that when I when I met her, I was like, this is this is the girl. Aww. So. That's wonderful. When we are, are we getting we are, married? We are so close together. You yeah, we are. We are giving you a lot it's of. It's not a like, small uh, couch, but we've turned <laughs> into a very small but couch. It's a big couch. We just up on you. That's yeah, no. It's very, it's very close. I have no complaint. You're very when charming. You, see, you smell we, fantastic. Thank you. If we have a guest that's not cute, you'll see we're. You start yeah. migrating. Yeah. Yeah. I should know if this goes terribly and you start yes. migrating away. To when you leave here, Sharon will have picture pocket. Yes. <laughs> to know about the wedding. When do I get my invite? It's, when it's is it? The, save the dates are in the mail. I gave it to Ozzy. He's in the Thank back. You. So <laughs> Thank you. Be coming. Uh, we're doing it at, um, we bought this barn uh, outside of Idaho. It was my dad and my brother and I, and we spent oh, the last beautiful. four years redoing it. Wow. Amazing. Oh, you have a picture of it? Yes, gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. Where do I look for this? There? Right there is good. Yeah, that's yeah. the barn. So we, we've redone that for four years and, and literally our family putting in wow. like electricity and plumbing. And, you guys did it yourself. And, yeah, we did it ourselves. And then we're going to do the ceremony on this bluff that kind of overlooks the Teton Mountains. And wow. So you that's obviously kind of thought it out a ton. How did the proposal go? Uh, the proposal, that's actually a pretty great story. Um, we had been together for four years and everyone knew uh, and they knew it was coming and I hated that idea that she knew that it was coming because I wanted it to be kind of a magic thing so her birthday was coming up her parents were like this is going to be it he's going to propose so I got her a watch uh, <laughs> so romantic so romantic yeah. everybody was super disappointed and then I spent the next three months kind of talking about how I didn't know if I wanted to be married maybe we should just have kids and she was like wow. trying to find traction with that and so then we went down to Punta Mito Mexico and spent this perfect day like you know swimming in the ocean and getting massages and like the perfect day and we had this beautiful um, meal on the beach and there's a full moon and I say you know let's bring our flashlights because we're gonna go starfish hunting which doesn't exist at all <laughs> and we're walking down the beach and she's like going through lagoons like really committed to finding spark starfish and whatever love you and we came on this bluff and there's these two palm trees uh, and it's backlit by the moon and I said we run up there and I'm gonna set the, the uh, camera on a timer and I'll run up and get in the shot with you um, so I hit it and tried to run up there and didn't make it. Second time, fell, didn't make it. And she's just up there. There's just two pictures of her just standing by herself with these two palm trees. And the third time, I, I sprinted up and came running into my knees. But she's kind of facing the camera, so she, like, looks over like this, and the picture takes. And the shutter's open for ten seconds, and I said, um, I guess I can tell you what I said. Well, she'd be mad What'd at you me. say? Oh, um, tell us. Nobody makes me laugh more. Oh. Nobody makes me happier. No one's gonna be a better mother. Um, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Oh, oh my God, yeah. I just got a little choked up saying yeah. that. Uh, and then the picture, we came back down, and the camera had fallen over. And I was like, no! And we lifted it up, and it had automatically closed, and then fell forward, and we got the picture, which oh, yeah. I sent. Where is, where is, oh, that's it. look at that, look at that. That looks like Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's her, she's not Jesus. Mary and that, Joseph. That, that, I look like a, like a midget in that picture. Now, uh, romantic, but that's, though. Yeah, she's, well, she's uh, worth it's, it. It's, it's a such a great story because you talk about the fact that you're, like, running up the hill and falling and tripping over yourself, but on the show, do you actually do... You have a lot of stunts and kind of physical stuff. I do. Show. I have a lot of stunts, and I, and I do as much as I can, but they're always afraid that you're going to get, like, your nose torn off, which is not, you know... Which is an not an extreme thing. Right, which is <laughs> yeah, extreme. Like seems really excessive. Extreme. 
Um, so I have a stunt double who's actually my brother, and he was in the Navy SEALs for, for four years and then got out and now has a security company, and he also comes down and does my stunts. And he... That's cute. He looks like me, except for he's much stronger. Tougher. <laughs> <laughs> stronger and tougher, which is a good combination. And you don't man. mind if his nose gets pulled off. <laughs> no, my mom, like, freaks out the whole time. She's always so worried. She's like, because when it's not you and something's blowing up, I know it's your brother, and so oh, she just wants to hands on And I get much more nervous watching him do it than me. We had a stunt where this car goes flying over the side of a railing and flips in the air and he's like standing like this shooting while it goes by and the whole time I was just like watching like my heart beating so I'd rather do it myself yeah. right because watching him is just it's nerve-wracking yeah. and then I have to call my mom if anything goes wrong and be like hey you know your older son yeah well uh, <laughs> <laughs> luckily, he lost his nose luckily you made a spare <laughs> yes it's good thing you have two now you never planned on being an actor right so how did you fall into it um I, I actually was at a school in Michigan uh, for a year and had five jobs and a double major and was like never sleeping and um, I came out to Los Angeles because I thought I could do commercial work at the same time and uh, I got into Pepperdine University um, but my first movie ever was uh, was Pearl Harbor which is like 10 years ago yeah yeah and I had I came out with like $500 in my pocket Ben Affleck was in that yeah he was I yes. played his gunner Fabulous. So Ben Affleck is like acting and running around and flexing his jawbone, and then I just come up and say like one line and then run out of the shot. It's like my first <laughs> but experience. did you film that in Hawaii? I f no, I filmed in like Corpus Christi oh. in Texas right? and all what these a horrible oh, locations that I didn't go to. I don't want to. I want to make sure that we get a ch uh, chance to mention that you have a big scary movie coming out for Halloween. I, I have the, just yeah, the thing, which is terrifying. It looks so that. scary. Yeah. People have seen the trailer for it. It's, it looks is way it, scarier is the than the thing original one. Still in the snow, or did it get out of the snow? In our movie. Yes. We pull it out of the snow. Oh. In so all of our infinite whistle. Yes. This we made a prequel. a prequel to the 1982 John Carpenter movie. So oh. we find the thing in the snow and bring it out. Where did you film that? Uh, we shot it uh, in Toronto, but we, we shot the first week at 10,000 feet in Alaska. Wow. wow. There, it's via helicopter for like a half hour in the middle of like nowhere on this giant glacier. And I remember walking over to craft service and there was just tons of food. And there was like maybe 15 of us up there because it was a small splinter unit. And I was like, why is there so much food at craft service? And there was this guy that was like shoveling snow and like throwing it over. He's like, that's if we get stuck on the mountain if there's a storm. <laughs> We all have to hunker down and like eat granola bars. Where's for, like, my brother? Week. Where's my exactly. brother? Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, someone call me a stun double. Oh, that's my truth. Um, so yeah, we spent the rest of the day. Mary and I were just looking over the horizon, just waiting for stones to come in the whole time, terrified because the guy was just snuggling. I mean, he looked like a parody of a guy. He was like, Rawr, and shoveling snow. I had, I had, I had pockets full of, of uh, granola bars. You know what I mean? And those hand warmers. Did you? Oh, I had it all. I love I those. Had them all. Sixteen coats. It was hilarious. <laughs> was Eric terrified. Christian Olsen. Wow. Fabulous name. Thank you for being here. Thank you so Thank much for having me. Thank Our you so pleasure. Much for me. And you can watch NCIS Los Angeles Tuesday nights at nine, right here on CBS, and we'll be right back. Thanks. We want to hear what.